What up, everybody? This is your boy Tech G back with another video. And in this video, I want to welcome you all to my CompTIA A Plus Core 2 course for exam number 220 1002. And the information I'm going to be presenting in this course is going to give you everything you need to know to successfully pass the CompTIA 220 1002 examination, assuming you properly study. Now understand that the CompTIA A plus certification is an entry level computer certification for PC computer service technicians. The exam is designed to certify the competency of entry level PC computer service professionals in installing, maintaining, customizing and operating personal computers. So let's talk about some of the skills that you will learn. So the CompTIA A plus 220 1002 exam will focus on four primary areas of study, which are also known as domains. You have domain one, which will focus on operating systems. And this is going to make up 27% of the exam. This domain will focus on the installation and support of Windows operating systems, including command line and client support. In addition to understanding Mac, Linux, and mobile operating systems, domain two is going to focus on security. And that's going to take up about 24% of the exam. This domain will focus on identifying and protecting against security vulnerabilities for devices and their network connections. Then you have domain three that's going to focus on software troubleshooting, and this is going to make up 26% of your exam. This domain will focus on troubleshooting PC and mobile device issues, including application security support. And then finally, domain four is going to talk about operational procedures, and that's going to make up 23% of the exam. This domain will focus on following best practices for safety, environmental impacts, communication, and professionalism. Let's talk about the CompTIA A plus 220 1002 exam details. So the CompTIA A plus 220 1002, this is the latest and greatest exam version. And this exam version was launched January 15th, 2019. Now at the time of this posting, CompTIA has not scheduled a retirement date for this exam, but normally three years after the launch of an exam is when you can expect for that exam to be officially retired so they can begin introducing the latest version. The exam has a maximum of 90 questions. The questions are presented in multiple choice format, single and multiple responses, drag and drop questions, and performance based questions. The exam also has a 90 minute time limit. So, in order to pass the 220 1002 exam, you will need to score 700 points out of a possible 900 points on the exam. It is recommended by CompTIA that a candidate has has at least nine to 12 months of hands-on experience in the lab or in the field. Now, as a caveat, I've trained plenty of people when I was in the military and as a civilian who had zero experience in passing this exam. So you will be okay if you don't meet the recommended hands-on requirement. Also, the exam is available in English, German, Japanese, Portuguese, Thai, and Spanish. The company that is responsible for administering this test is called Pearson View Testing Centers. And the cost of the CompTIA 220 1002 exam is $226. Now, there are other options out there that will allow for you to get this exam at a discounted price, such as if you are a college student with a college email, you can pay pay for these vouchers and get about 50% off. Or if you work for a company, get your boss to pay for this exam. And as a side note, you need to understand that the CompTIA A plus certification is a two part exam. You must pass the 220 1001, which is known as the hardware test and the 220 1002, which is known as the software test in order to be awarded the CompTIA A plus certification. You can take either test in any order and you can schedule the exam days, weeks or months apart if you like, meaning if you take the 220 1001 exam on January 1st and you take the 220 1002 exam on December 1st of the same year, so as long as you pass both exams, you will be awarded the CompTIA A plus certification. And that certification will go into effect on the day that you pass the second exam. 
Now, for those of you who may be brand new to my channel, if you go click on my playlist, you will see I have a CompTIA A plus 221001 course already posted up there. It's like 30 something videos. You watch those videos, I guarantee you will pass this certification, assuming you study. Now, with all of that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, the share button, drop a comment, but most importantly, subscribe to this channel channel. Also go check out my website, Technology G, so that you can get read up on the latest and greatest concerning all the wonderful things about information technology and getting certified in these entry-level IT certifications. So with that being said, let's get this course started.